and welcome back to Cargo Creations. Today's video is going to be a detailed walkthrough of the Jungle Cruise. We've got an addition to Jungle Cruise. We talked about it on the last video. Um, I have one of the diorama scenes from uh, Return of the Jedi from Endor. And uh, I've got that in the, uh, the build for the Jungle Cruise. And so we're going to get right to that right now. But before I do that, again, I want to thank you guys for following, subscribing, liking, and sharing uh, the, the channel seemingly is growing and um, a lot of people like uh, the content so we're going to keep going and we really appreciate it uh, and uh, let's get on with the uh, build for tonight so let's take a look at that as we come around the resorts here we're going to go into we'll go to the front of the park again remember we've got the 100 year um, sign up in front let's go down take a look at that park goers the 100 year sign and we got a view right down Main Street. All right, and we're gonna go down Main Street and we're gonna hang a left into Adventureland. So let's get to that right now. All right, and here we go, coming down Main Street here. And here is the partner statue. And we are gonna go right through the main entry gate to Adventureland. And there's the signage. And as we come in, obviously there's a Swiss Family Robinson treehouse. Uh, directly in front of us is Aladdin's uh, the Magic Carpet Rides of Aladdin. And then here is the Jungle Cruise off to the left there a little bit. And there's the queue line, outside queue line, into the main queue line. And I'm going to take a look at that building from here. And then we're going to take the lid off of that and take a look inside at the actual queue line. So... We're going to do that right now, and I'm going to get right, right to that. Here is the queue area with the roof off. You can see inside the queue, and you can see the... Um, I use different colored tiles as the flooring to look kind of rustic and old, you know, like old weathered wood and that. Um, the lines then, I use some chains and then oars as the poles uh, with it uh, stabilized on the ground with some uh, barrels. Thought that looked kind of rustic in that. Over on the um, the gating there, you see some, oh, some some old um, boxes and some paraphernalia for diving and things of that nature. I just tried to make it as rustic looking inside as I could. A couple lanterns there, a candle. Um, we also have the um, the spider that's in that cage that moves around as you get up close to the uh, entrance of the ride, and then we can see the. Um, the um, queue area that comes out onto the deck there as you get on to the ride, to the uh, the ride vehicle, the boat, the steamboat. So let's take a look around the side here, some paraphernalia down into the um, area. And there is the boat, which we're gonna take a look at in just a second here. But I wanted to show you that in context of the rest of the area here without the roof on. And so it, I did the best to, to make it look as authentic as I could. And it really, you've got some leeway here and there. There's a lot of different uh, pieces in that that uh, kind of fit in there. So that's that. Let's take a look at the ride vehicle itself, if I can reach that without knocking everything over. Knocked a tree over there. Um, let's take a look at that. And this is a custom build of mine. Um, I used a boat from one of the sets, the Lego sets. It was a three-in-one set. And I kind of adapted it, used some of my parts and that, and kind of mimicked it a little bit. There is the Jungle Cruise operator there. And the boat, and you see the, the engine in there with the smokestack there coming out. And so I think that turned out really well. I went old school with the old look, the red and white, uh, just for a little um, vintage look there. So and there are some people in there. So I'm going to put that back down. And as I do that, I am going to put the lid back on um, the, uh, the building there. And uh, we'll take a look at more of the ride itself and some of those new uh, Easter eggs that I have in the ride. All right, now the roof's back on, and let's get back into the ride here. So we do see the, there is the boat, uh, the ride vehicle there, and the 
the dock, and we're gonna get around the other side and get a better vantage point of that. But I wanna show you the new addition to the uh, Jungle Cruise here, and I brought the IP of Star Wars in. I've got a lot of other um, IPs that we'll take a look at right now, but let's take a look at this one. I told you guys the other day in the other video that I had that um, indoor um, diorama there of uh, the chase on the speeder bikes. And so I have put that into the ride here. I just thought it would work really good. Just the motif of uh, the jungle and the greenery. So I thought that would work really well in this scene and I wanted to get some Star Wars in there. You know, I like Star Wars. Um, so that is a little shout out to Return of the Jedi as we're in the Jungle Cruise there. So I think that turned out really well. The trees fit in real well. It kind of diversifies the trees inside here, brings some different textures to this um, area. And I wanted to add some Star Wars IP. So that's what I added. Hopefully you guys like that. I do like those new grass elements, those elements that they have, um, those fern-like elements. Those were kind of neat. Um, so as we come around from that, then there we do have, still have the back side of the, um, the plane, the tail of the plane. Um, that's a funny running joke inside the ride there. And then we also have the Lion King. So we've got not only Star Wars, but we have Lion King IP in there as well. I thought that fit in really good. And let's get a little deeper into the detail there. If you guys recall, when you're, you're coming around that one corner, there's a big snake in the tree there. Well, there it is right there. If you can see right in the middle of the screen there, I had to get that up in there because it's one of the, you know, the more um, noticeable um, items in the ride. And there's another from the side there. You guys can get a focus on that. It's not focusing great on that, but there he is right there. And um, so, uh, like I said, uh, that we've got the Star Wars, we've got the Lion King there. Got some familiarity of the ride there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get on the other side and get a better vantage point for uh, the rest of the ride here. Okay. I'll do that right now. Right, now we're back on uh, the outside here, and let's take a look. I'm going to go back to the um, uh, um, the new addition there, that Star Wars IP there. It's I just thought those speeder bikes are really neat. I thought uh, those new those minifigures were new of Luke and Leia, and uh, I thought that would add real good. Tell me what you think about that. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I know a lot of people don't like to do a lot of IP stuff, and they don't like that, like in Epcot, they've got a lot of IP. I, I'm kind of pro-IP. I like to see the, you know, it is Disney. It is their uh, creations and that. I kind of like to see that around the park. So um, there is the Star Wars one. There is the Lion King right there on Pride Rock. And then as we come down further, let's see if I can get a, Good view of that snake coming down. There he is. As you come down on the ride, you guys know what I'm talking about if you've been on the ride. And there's the rhino chasing the scientist up into uh, up that pole. I've got that. I tried to um, mimic the, some pictures and images that I saw of that. And then there is the monkeys that got the Jeep turned over finally. And then you guys know I brought some other IP into it. Um, I brought the Avatar IP, and there's a, uh, one of the Banshees flying over top. And then as I get down in, in the ride there, I almost have like an entry area where that um, uh, archway uh, leads you into this region here, which has the Tree of Life. And you know, I've said it a couple times, probably get tired of me saying it, but the Tree of Life, I believe, in Avatar looks very similar to the live action Jungle Cruise tree. So I added that in there because I did want to get some IP of Avatar in this build, even though it's not really represented in the Magic Kingdom very much. So we have that. We've got some of the characters. And then we also have that creature there as well. So I think it turned out really well. I like that. I, I wanted to make this wall here too. 
um, and put the greenery on there, almost like the floating mountains and avatar to kind of separate it from Pirates of the Caribbean. And then on this side in Pirates, it looks like a jagged rock, um, like there would be landscaping in, uh, in that uh, ride as well. So I think it worked out well. I don't think it's too obstruction, obstructive to the park itself from the build. So if we come back here, I don't think it like stands out, but it does create a separation between the two rides. So I do my best to try to keep it. It's tight quarters around here. It's really tight. Um, I wish I did have more room. It is a lot of room down here, but I, I, I need more room. I wish I had a little more room. So if I do change it, uh, that's, that'll be what I'll be changing. <laughs> so as we go further into the ride then too, we also have um, Swiper Falls right there. And then behind it, we do have, take a quick glance there, of the back side of water. Exactly. So, and at nighttime, I had that lit up. And I, I want to remind you guys that uh, if you look on my account, look in the um, my channel here, you will see some of the light time, or the nighttime viewing with the lights on. So catch that. Um, I'll be doing more of those as we go. But um, I do have a couple in there. Did one just about a week ago. Uh, so take a look at that. I think you'll like that. And um, so that kind of concludes the Jungle Cruise there. Let's take one more little fly over back here, as we can see here. And I do have lights down in there too, so when the lights come on, it does lighten that up. And I've got a light planted in the Jungle Cruise, um, or in the Tree of Life here. And so there's a couple bulbs lit in there, and then these elements here, these pieces really shine. Okay, and so when the lights go on, it kind of looks like I've got them all lit up, which I want to do later on is put a couple more lights in there, but it looks pretty good as it stands right now. So as we fly over here again, let's take a look back towards the ride vehicle. We'll get another look at the newest IP we have there of Star Wars, or Return of the Jedi, I should say. And that kind of concludes the Jungle Cruise there. Guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you like that. Um, I will probably do some more, obviously, detailed walkthroughs of different areas of the park. Um, and you can join us on this channel. Take, take a look at us on Instagram or TikTok. And don't forget, if you want your um, minifigs in the park, uh, you can customize some minifigures. Send them to me. I will gladly put them in the park and I will send you a couple pictures of your characters anywhere in the park. Just put it on a little note um, in the envelope that you send your minifigures in. Uh, you can send me a like um, a printed picture, you know, like a, a copy um, of a picture that you have taken in the park and I'll try to mimic that. I've done a couple of those and I really like doing those because I think that's really authentic, especially when I get, you know, family pictures and that. I think it's neat. I, I will keep the minifigures in the park here to populate the park, but I'll send you back pictures. And I usually throw a couple extra ones in there because um, I, I just like making them. So um, I will put the information uh, at the end of the video here too as well for that. And I'll put some uh, still shots of uh, the uh, Jungle Cruise a little bit as well here. So uh, like I said, well, hey, um, till next time. Uh, we will see you soon. Bye-bye now.